voting reached record levels. Record registrations. Historic voter turnout. The 2020 election was the most secure in U.S. history. Fair, transparent, accurate. The most secure in history. After losing the presidential election, the lesson they have learned is that if lots of people vote and they choose your opponent, you should just figure out how to stop people from voting. Republicans are currently pushing 253 voter suppression bills, all aimed at shutting down access to the ballot. Everybody should be horrified by this attempt to build walls around the ballot box. In the battleground state of Pennsylvania, where Biden sealed his victory, Republicans have proposed 15 new voter suppression bills. Among these are a slew of new photo ID laws. Pennsylvania lawmakers are also looking to expand arbitrary voter roll purges. The only way to fight hundreds of voter suppression laws is through sweeping national legislation. The best solution is that we have action by Congress, that H.R. 1, the For the People Act, passed for the protection of democracy. In Georgia, where Biden narrowly flipped the state, by nearly 12,000 votes, Republican legislators have proposed 22 voter suppression bills. There are those who are trying to compromise the voices of the electorate so that politicians can pick their voters rather than have voters pick those who would represent them. One of these bills in Georgia would end automatic voter registration. <laughs> An even more blatant attack on African-American voters in Georgia is the proposal to eliminate early voting on Sundays. It is a way to go after souls to the polls. Souls to the polls and polls. Where black churches on Sunday have their congregation get on buses and go to the polls to vote. Black voters in Georgia are 30% of the electorate, but made up 37% of Sunday voters. After Biden's close win in Arizona, Republicans there have proposed 22 of their own voter suppression bills. One of Arizona Republicans' most flagrant bills requires absentee ballots to be notarized. We're asking them to go out and go find a notary, an additional hurdle in order to exercise their right to vote. Nearly half of all Americans who voted, voted by mail in the 2020 election. One of the most egregious proposals from Arizona state legislature would give them the power to assign the state's electoral college votes to whomever the state legislature wanted, not whomever the people in the majority voted for. Judges in Arizona, Pennsylvania, and Georgia have all thrown out lawsuits from Trump administration. Another Trump lawsuit now dismissed. No evidence. No evidence. Cases thrown out. The Justice Department has found no evidence of voting fraud. Tossing out his election challenge. Trump has lost 59 lawsuits. The U.S. Supreme Court rejecting that lawsuit. It is more likely that Americans will be struck by the lightning than commit voter fraud. More Americans will give birth to triplets than commit voter fraud. You are more likely to be injured by a toilet than commit voter fraud. Voter fraud is a myth. It does not exist. But voter suppression is real. This is clearly about race. This is really a new form of Jim Crow. They are targeting the voting methods that were used the most by black voters. And those very voting methods that led to higher turnout, those are the things that are on the chopping block right now. I don't want everybody to vote. As a matter of fact, our leverage in the elections quite candidly goes up as the voting populace goes down. They had things, uh, levels of voting that if you ever agreed to it, you'd never have a Republican elected in this country again. We just had record turnout, and it was the most secure election in American history. Republicans are working overtime to stop you from voting. We can defeat these Jim Crow-like voter suppression efforts by supporting 
the For the People Act, a nationwide bill that would protect your right to vote. I urge each and every one of our colleagues to support this bill. Today, we are able to do our part in this long fight for the very soul of our nation. Now it's up to all of us to get the For the People Act passed.